Hi there, my name is Caitlin and I'm the Associate Curator of Clothing and Textiles at the Red Deer Museum and Art Gallery. And today I want to talk to you about this circa 1910 blouse that I hope will help you reconsider the clothes that you buy and wear today. This cotton blouse has a loose fit and is meant to be worn tucked into a skirt. What we can see here that would normally be hidden under the skirt is a little tag that says all handmade. Now, you're probably used to having multiple tags in your clothes, which are actually regulated by law, but in 1910 it was not regulated and a lot less common. If a garment did have a tag, it usually just had the name of the manufacturer. So what did this tag mean in 1910? Well, in fact, this blouse is entirely sewn by hand. It was not sewn on a machine. It's difficult to see in a video, but every seam and every stitch was done by hand, including the decorative work across the top and the lace. The tag on this blouse reminded me of branding that we use today to talk about artisanal or ethically made clothing. The thing is that almost all clothing is handmade. Sewing clothing requires a lot of manual skill and dexterity, and because of this, we haven't been able to come up with very many machines that can do it for us. So, even clothes that come from big box stores in the mall are handmade, and I'd guess that most of the clothes in your closet have passed through several sets of skilled hands before they got to you. While handmade in 1910 meant sewn with a needle and thread without a machine, that is not what handmade means today. And it is worth remembering that whether it was made in the home of a local maker or in a large factory overseas, the most of the clothing that we can buy today is in fact handmade. <laughs> 